It was take two for the NASCAR Cup Series at Martinsville Speedway. Wet weather moved in after just 42 laps, forcing drivers to start their engines yet again today. Much better seen at the paperclip. Denny Hamlin started fast last night. That also continued today. Early lead until the 12 car. Check out Ryan Blaney giving him trouble, taking the lead and stage one and two victories. Final stage got messy. Five spin outs and a red flag after the cars stack up here on the back stretch. Six drivers done for the day, including Kislowski, Bowman and Suarez, whose car was in fuego right there. Final caution came at lap 47 on the restart. Martin Truex Jr. in second. Surges ahead past Hamlin for the lead with 20 to go. And the 19 car finds victory lane for Joe Gibbs Racing. Brooke Leonard was trackside and has more on Truex's secret to getting past the 11. Who would have ever thought the old saying slow and steady wins the race would apply to NASCAR? Martin Truex Jr. certainly proving that point tonight. He led only the final 20 laps of the race, showing that patience is everything at a track like Martinsville. His car really flipped the switch. So at that point, I was like, I know I can get by. It was just I need to be patient and no sense of pushing it with, you know, plenty of laps left. And, and the nine was still pretty far back. For whatever reason, our car really turned on when the lights went down. And, um, it's always good when a plan comes together and it works out the way you hoped it would. An extra long race weekend wrapped up here at the Martinsville Speedway. I don't think anybody was upset after the finish that we had tonight, but for now, the lights will turn off. Everything will be quiet at the track until this fall. At the Martinsville Speedway, I'm Brooke Leonard. Back to you, Eric. Thanks, Brooke. Elliott and Hamlin would finish in second and third. William Byron, another top 10 finish. Logano in sixth. Kevin Harvin and Kyle Busch rounded out the top 10. Ryan Blaney would end up finishing 11th.